Hi. Makan dam kapon po. Kumasta? Uh, nice to meet you. It's a real pleasure to be here today. And unfortunately, I couldn't join and attend this face-to-face -face conference, but I will be extremely happy to share with you my experience uh, in the fourth industrial revolution, uh, some of my case studies and prototypes that I have done in the last few years. So please, welcome to my presentations, and I hope to see you soon in Philippines. Sayonara. Hi, I'm Pablo again. Oh, well, thank you for joining me today. And what it's, what it's for industrial revolution? Well, as we know, education is the key for adapting to the changes of for industrial revolution technologies. But also the employment landscape uh, will undergo a massive shift, making advanced skills increasingly important. As you know, uh, the idea of presenting this topic, important topic, is to help and educate future leaders on the role of fostering innovation and shaping technological adoptions, but at the same time understand how the industrial revolution, uh, the fourth industrial revolution, will make a huge impact in, in our life. Industry 4.0, are we really prepared for the next big revolution? Innovative technologies are very the key component of integrated scientific and technical disciplines. Cloud computing and machine learning, autonomous car robots, AR, VR simulations, and also Internet of Things system and integration are the key component of one of the four industrial revolution. It's also uh, very important to uh, for learners. Um, uh, they have to consider to upgrade their skill sets and learn about these new technologies. The good things that it for industrial revolution is making skill development a um, more accessible process. Examples such as search engine, Google, open online courses, and edX can be easily access accessible and for a student or can also um, get their skill not just connected for uh, online social media. They can also. Uh, demonstrate new skills. It is also very important to identify high digital risk and impacts on education. A big example happens last year in April in 2019 in the Philippines when it was the databases from students was exposed from emails, phones and access. So it was very student data privacy protection. It's one of the key component of the and the awareness of the four uh, industrial revolutions and how we can be prepared for this uh, new uh, hackers attack or high risk. There's a new challenges uh, for lecturers, teachers, and I believe that lecturers and teachers should be able to challenge, not just teach. And it's important to prepare students for the four industri industrial revolution, and not only four, it's also the fifth is coming more about innovation, collaboration, and being proactive. Academics should, should be upgrade their skills, retrain, and learn something new, engage with the STEM education. 
Today's job candidate must be able to collaborate, communicate and solve problems. The skill developed mainly through social and emotional learning (SEL) combined traditional skills to social and emotional preferences will equip students to succeed in this kind of evolving digital economy. We also uh, need to think about are we preparing our students for the future for the future jobs? Uh, this new the new jobs robots more engineering and, and understanding the future of job many of the jobs that we have now will not exist anymore so it's very important to consider leadership innovation machine will replace replace automate tasks and develop higher level of skills with problem solving and real cases and collaboration it's a key component I remember the teacher talked and we listened. We had to memorise quite a lot too. A lot of time was spent giving out books and collecting them up again. We were sitting in rows and desks so we could see the board better because talk and chalk was the way. There must be an industrial revolution in education in which educational science and the ingenuity of educational technology combine to modernise the grossly inefficient and clumsy procedures of conventional education. Sydney El Presse, 1924. These young people are studying in a new way. A computing calculator designed for use in high school classrooms has created tremendous excitement among educators. The tool which has made this possible is the high-speed digital computer operating with electronic precision on great quantities of information. If we think about the third industrial revolution, that was PCs and the internet, and, and we've just about caught up with that. The fourth industrial revolution is what becomes possible from those technologies. Industry 4.0 is the next big shift in the way that manufacturing operates. Digital know-how is going to be hugely important, and then people will need to be flexible because the world will change. At the future workplace and future societies, uh, we're still moulding them as we go and technology is one of the main pillars in what is shaping what the future will look like. The pace of change is remarkable with the introduction of these exponential technologies creating a paradigm shift to create education 4.0. Lectures aren't fit for purpose anymore. Using textbooks and teaching in a Victorian sort of method with rows of students Know, listening to the teacher, taking notes, it's obsolete. We need to use our time in lessons to actually have those meaningful mentoring one-to-ones that can never be replaced. The technology gives us that time if we use it correctly. Rather than being something that's scary, we can use technology to be something that's very liberating for people so that instead of having to you know, go through the rigmarole of institutional learning as it's been in the past, we can actually use smart robotics, smart computers to make learning more accessible to more people and to actually tailor it to individual needs. This whole cluster of AI technologies will make learning for students more rewarding teaching for academics more rewarding. We want it to be a win for everybody. We've shown already in clinical studies and trials that retention is up to 70% higher in virtual reality. That has a huge impact on learning and retention of facts. A challenge is for universities to really develop their students' digital skills so that they can actually make use of those skills in the workplace. It would be all too easy to say Everyone must learn to code, but the truth is coding is just one digital skill. Creativity, collaboration, communication, critical thinking, these skills that can never be automated, that can never be replaced, are what we need to focus on. Education 4.0 is a, is a request to the education sector to rethink the educational paradigm and it's an opportunity for us as this fourth industrial revolution kicks off to think about what modern education should look like. We now live in a hyper-connected world 
And now, at the time, more than ever, the time is for us to say, what do we want to do with that? How for IR is impacting the way we work? Well, some jobs are disappearing. The second, Internet of Things is changing the way we live and connect, but also robots and human coexist. Chatbots and machine learning are helping small business too. A big example is happens in, in Japan here that if you go to the restaurants, you don't, in some, some cases, you don't see uh, humans anymore. So you have these touching iPad machines that you order in the sushi and then just a few seconds you get your sushi in front of you. Same times when you go to the museums, you don't have a front desk support. You have a robot that can access and student and people can uh, talk with the robot. So this is the reality happens in societies like Japan or even in Australia. Uh, we also think about adopting smart campus technologies. One example is how we can improve the efficiency and experience for our students. Also, in implementing a SCT, uh, reduce operational costs for universities. Uh, Conference tools on cloud system are allowed to collaborate virtually uh, with students. So it's so important to, to create this kind of smart campus technology to improve the new learning experience, all connected with the Internet of Things, like taking attendance, identifies students with uh, analytics. Data analytics is so important. Well, some case studies that I would like to share with you is the implementation of chatbots. I have done in the last three years ago, I developed and prototyped a chatbot using Amazon Lex. We also identify and use uh, engage 3D models with advanced learning experience. So it was very important to, to see the student experience, how they implement and they use this technology into the classrooms. Uh, it's very, um, as I mentioned before, academics must to train and get new skills. VR, mixed reality, augmented reality, it's, it's a trending now and it's so important to involve and implement in the classrooms the collaborations also how we can engage how academics can create new um, partnerships so one example two years ago i developed the community of practice when academics we try to break the silos and create this kind of more open culture share resources but also the experience and Last thing, it's uh, learning analytics. It's so important to analyze and get identified learning analytics, analytics to improve learning experience. Some um, important things to consider, 30% of the global population now use social media. And 24 seven, you can get the smart tech technologies and support. So the information is in every aspect of our life and we can get just right few clicks and we just are connected to a different countries. So thank you so much for, for having me here today. It was really, really pleasure to share with you my experience. It's a really short presentation, but I hope in the next, in the next few um, months, I uh, will be able to visit your uh, country and your university and we can uh, share more collaboration. So please feel free to check this open resources and you can access and watch the videos and more content of my presentation today. Thank you so much for having me here today and I hope to see you soon in the Philippines. It was my real pleasure. See you soon. Bye. Adios.